space creation for Jet to be played, right? For the defense? Could be a lot of great retake opportunities, and that could be good for complexity starting off on the defense, especially maybe with the lockdown. I'm curious, though, about the, the Cypher, because that's going to deny a lot of flank potential. I think if Complexity want to go aggressive on the defense, then they might find a lot of resistance with the Cypher and the tripwires and just the amount of info that Cypher is able to gather. And it is definitely a lot more than Killjoy might be able to on a flank watch because she kind of needs that turret. Yeah, she absolutely does. I think the big factor right now for Complexity to bring Killjoy is the lockdown. Fortunately though, it's a pistol round. We can't see that just yet. Early Cloudburst does come down. It's gonna allow a lot more rotations to go through sewer side. J. Cruel, aware of this, does peek around, does have the Ooh, Cloudburst to come by, but the gravity well in conjunction of that is gonna be nasty. It's a double prong peak uh, peak, excuse me, Tal, but look at this, though it's gonna work well in the favor of timeout. But no, it just keeps going back and forth. The 2v2 now a heavily damaged Asher to get away. In complexity. They were able to retake it slightly. But this guy is the only one on A, and it looks like Timeout wants to double dip again. Krago is only down to 1 HP. They healed up Astra completely. But if they go down, it's going to be a 2v1. AGM's nowhere to be seen. It's down to just Ohai. Behind the Radiant Eye box. And Jogmo is ready for the strafing shots to work. Not sure if there's a Guiding Light in the favor of Ohai at the moment. No one was brought out earlier. Do see full util, but no stars in the favor of Jogamo. It looks like, though, it's just a, a time. Biting, waning. AGM forced to stick to the left side of the map, looking for the rotate, but all that utility and nothing's there. 30, 30 seconds, seconds left now. Left. Thank you. But now, 30 seconds left now. <laughs> waiting like on CT it. side. The double P coming a by. Breath of Wind could take down this attacking sky right now. You're right. Gringo is seconds away from death. Oh, and it's all for the retake, too. Oh, hi. Ready? Waiting for AGM to come on through. The double P could happen. You could see it rotate through heaven. But no, instead, heaven's no longer a factor. The guiding light comes by. It doesn't find any info, Last but instead, reverse the guiding light from the Last attack comes through. Remaining. It's a 1v1. AGM doesn't know where Astro is, but they clutch it up. A good first round from AGM. It was a little bit closer than we would have liked to see from that first round but the double pronged peak on a site was definitely the right idea for time out they had good i think if they just had continued to aggress that site instead of completely retreating and waiting for so long allowing them to make the rotations and get into one, one enemy position. remaining the agm good clutch Grego was actually 1 HP, so I'm not sure if he could have contributed much to that gunfight there. So they were able to get the spike down, so a little bit more money Chasing in the, the hands of timeout. Yeah, it definitely wasn't the worst case scenario. You brought it down to a 1v1 on pistol. That's pretty good, all things considered. But now timeout, their weaponry isn't the best right now. They don't have the buy up here. We do see complexity doing so. This is not a round designed for timeout to win, but it is a Sheiko round. They could find those lucky headshots that they need. It's a matter of the rotations. I mean, the players of complexity pretty spread out across this map. It doesn't seem like there's much to be found, especially on the C site. Just the Killjoy turret defending and the... And towards Garage, this might actually be a death the trap with drone. two players positioned here Enemy and tech. AGM behind that. But it seems like pushing out wow. now, AGM yeah. able to secure it too, which is the pistol and doesn't quite secure it. But Brock is there to take down Apathy. And now it's a seaside aggression, oh. but the turret is there as well as the gravity well. Yagmo is able to find one on one AGM, enemy though. remaining. Caitlyn now all left up to Brock oh. or Kurt. Sorry. <laughs> oh, but no. But he too falls. We saw a huge overextension from AGM pushing out of Garage. I, I gotta say, I was a little surprised that it worked out so effectively and well in their favor. Even with the gun diff, even with the AGM diff, all things considered, right? That was still such a risky play, even with the info. But it worked out well. And now, timeout, this is their opportunity, right? They have the full buy. Minus Grego with Can the I white armor. This? But this is their chance to really bring it back and get themselves a stake into this game. Box. Having the full buy, it's quite a 
big advantage because especially since AGM Can died that take... last round, he only he has a frenzy to work with. But it seems like they are going aggressive, and that was something that timeout was not prepared for. No, by no means. Now losing your Astra, you don't have controllers anymore, minus maybe some cloud bursts from the jet. Apathy though. Trying to make their way through garage. Oh hi, with the sprays on the other side. Shot dark. No return. Right here. The attempted flash to come by doesn't find fruit. Empathy though does get healed. And Palin might go for the risky AGM peak again. Oh, but not with the same oh. amount of luck. Empathy finds the headshot instead. Can Brog make it up though? Million dollar question, but with zero dollar results, it's gonna be oh hi though. Still left alive in garage by themselves. And Grego, they're just able to shoot through the garage doors. Dodging and weaving 79 HP, not the best situation to be in. Timeout gonna go for the rotate. Even after picking up those players on Garage towards C site, it seems like going for the rotate, it seems they think it's their best move because they have drawn a lot of complexities and power left. towards that C side, but they've read this rotation Time like destroyed. a book. They only know the turret is here. I don't know if they have been revealed, but still able to take them down. AGM though, with only a frenzy, is still a. good for one. However, it is all left up to him now. Spectre in hand. But pinged out by the okay, Oh, could have been a great swing there, but Kerr finds the confirm. Timeout find themselves a stake into this game. They were able to buy they were able to win the buy up round, and that was probably the most pivotal round they needed for this half. Letting complexity build up on those rounds is definitely not what they need, especially with some momentum. Without momentum Out on the attack, it is really difficult to find rounds. It's definitely a lot more important time for up. the attackers to have that sort of momentum. But this time, Jay Cruel, speaking of momentum, has bought the operator and is probably going to try to shut that right down, not allowing a win streak to start first time outside. Fast aggression goes through sewers, though. Grego behind has the guiding light to work with. No information, though. You're just in short. Nothing to be seen or heard, really. Maybe a little bit of those hops, but I don't think anyone can hear that. No aggression from Complexity either. They don't want to overextend like they did last round because they were off to a great start there, but a little bit too aggressive with the peaks and garage cost them the round. So now rotate. just play very carefully. It's a rotate coming through now. Defensive Astra hiding back of boxes on C. Oh no. Oh no. What's gonna happen here? Stars are being placed though. Or at least it looked like they were going to. Instead, there's a full initiation onto A. The guiding lights go through. Oh hi, top of heaven's side. What's gonna happen? Oh, Epithy made their way through, but it's all a big distraction. The spike's still making its way to C. And look at this. Left. Complexity are eating out of the hands of timeout. They're buying right into it. But look at that. The Astra's still super close. They can hear the spike go down. And Valen realizes what's going on. Tries to find the sprays through, nearly finding Kurt. But the confirm isn't there. Now being blocked out by the nebula smokes. A little bit of a stank hold onto the site. Bued has below oh, garage. And Valen's able to find Kurt. That's denying the plant. There's only eight seconds left. This is going horribly wrong for timeout so quick. The entire herd is there, oh, and Jogobo oh, almost got away with it, but there's only one second oh left. My God. I thought Jogobo was going to get away with that. They just simply were not going to look at him <laughs> and instead try to focus the player on site, but he did get taken down. But that fake almost went really well for time out. I was impressed, but Valen still lurking nearby. I think he has adopted that lurker play style where he's not always too close to the team, just in case there's someone on the backside trying to sneak up through garage, through seaside, take them out from CT. So he knew exactly how to play it and really saved them that last round. Seaside makes me really worried now. Double stars, pop shots from Valen. No confirms. Right there. Are we gonna see another baited push like again? Oh, we might. It seems like Spike way. is postured towards C, which is where the majority of their players are. And investing the Blade Storm is going to be exactly what they want for a coordinated push. So I'm not sure this is going to be a fake, but we do see the mid players. 
A lot of presence near haystacks. Stars are down right in front of the garage. No use of it just yet. The rotate are to A about is... to run to J. Cruel's operator? Oh no. This could be a great confirm for J. Cruel. At least to find one. The cipher! No! The oh. shot's gonna miss! That's gigantic for timeout! And now J. Cruel forced to reposition, goes to the top of sewers. But the Astra's there, the shot's faded out again. J. Cruel again forced to relocate. Oh no, relegated now twice, maybe three times, the shots take down the initiating drone, but the owls left. hoot again! They're spotted out again! Jake was not having the time of their life right now, they're surrounded! The shotgun oh. knives come on by! But still working the favor of complexity, but not so much anymore! One left the line for Jogamo, 9 HP, a classic at Brock saves the day! Those were some unfortunate missed shots right there because it would have been huge for J.Crawl to completely stop that push from Long but was forced to retreat and Apathy peeking over those triple boxes on Haven with those knives on a site with those knives. I think it's really funny how Jet can sort of just jump over things and snipe you out of the air. <laughs> But speaking of an ultimate, the Blade Storm, there are three ultimates available for time out. They've got the Neural Theft, as well as the Cosmic Divide and the Seekers, so those can really help them in initiating onto these sites, as well as delaying pushes and retakes, so they have some more time. But this team isn't really a coach plant team. They have the trips that they can set up, but those seem to be more for info gathering on the flank. And setting up towards A, they don't have they have made a little bit of noise and invested the trailblazer, but not much else is going on towards that A side. I've got I'm not your sure what's train. going on outside. There's like people knocking over recycling bins. Hopefully the same case won't be happening here in this round. So much right utility here. all over B. Namalis, Nano Swarms, Gravity Wells, whatever you want, it's gonna be there. It's a candy store all over the site, but Epathy can't get out. Jogamo, Tommy in clutch now, trying to meet their way back with the team. Brock and company holding down the line. They don't want to make sure the spike can get for further in. And Valen still watching out. Good for one. No, maybe not. Grego takes them down instead. The J Cool Op comes in clutch to take down Kurt. But look at this, it's just the back and forth. More lines to be gained, more bodies to fall. Garage no longer in the favor of complexity side. They do have the body exactly. advantage. It's evened out. But oh hi again. Can't see through the astral wall. The guiding light to give information. But on the other side on Tin Box, Brock good for another double. And now one left alive. It's down to Grego. A mad dash back on the B. No more utility to be seen. B has to be the way to go. Normally they go for A, but there's no time. The plant underway. A 1v3 for the post plant here. Grego has to watch three different angles. It's possible that Grego can actually just retreat into A link here and watch the spike and defend oh, the post spotted. plant. But he's down on the three spot. They blind themselves! There's one heavily damaged, but Jay Krul above is able to find the shot! Had that shot missed, Brock only at 7 HP. That could have gone in timeout's favor. It is over. <laughs> I think so. It's a little bit harder to tell with the observer UI considering yeah. it's just the eye around, yeah. But the, the that halo was, was there. Yeah. I think that was as close as it could have been to time out there. Grego being the last player standing, I think the positioning was a little off, but he realized that Jay Cruel had the advantage when it came to long distance gunfire with the operator. So decide to play closer, especially still having that guiding light available. But that one guiding light missing was really what done in him for that last round and Putting them on the sheriff by now. Still only one round on the board. Complexity getting their third in a row now. But it seems like Complexity does have the habit of leaving the B site completely open that we have seen other teams adopt. And usually just having some sort of trapper like Cypher or KJ put an alarm bot, Nano Swarm, or Tripwire there. But they've recalled that alarm bot now and taking a more direct stance on the B site with Jake Rule. I, I do like the way and complexity are playing their killjoy. It's risky at times, right? Because timeout love to go for those rotates. But there's a lot of trust that comes into that too, right? Complexity. Even if AGM has to stay behind and watch a site that may not be in play, they can just wait for that spike to go down. 
And then it's still a 5v4, but most of the time we've seen someone like Brock, especially now 9 and 2, get at least a double kill in each engagement. Not too sure if this is a tag timeout or a technical pause, but overall gives a great amount of time for each team, I guess to an extent, think about what's going on. Uh, in terms of buying though, Tala, this isn't looking good for time outside. They're forced again to mostly sheriffs. There is one classic. Oh, there it is. No, Empathy doesn't have the Blade Storm, so it might have to go for a sheriff instead. But that Spectre from Kurt could be a big factor. I mean, Empathy isn't even close to the Blade Storm, seven points away. So no matter how many kills are found by him this round, it's not going to be a round where we do see the Blade Storm. And but on the other side, they have four ultimates, and most of them are really good for retaking or stopping plants. And yeah. it's just J. Cruel with that offensive ultimate and having that operator in his hands along with a lot of mobility in the form of the blade storm and the updrafts and just Jet's entire kit as a, a whole makes J. Cruel a really dangerous player as soon as he decides to take out those knives. And this is a mad dash everywhere it seems. I was gonna mention on sewers, but how about the double kill from Ohi? A meltdown again underway. No one can even get close. Oh. The tack timeout for what? Another flawless for complexity. And there was absolutely nothing invested from complexity into that round. They didn't use much utility. They basically, there was that one flash from Ohi here, and this was a pretty amazing spray down. At first, it was a little scary, but securing that second headshot on Debut and AGMs just still being there to back up and retreat into A because Ohi had been able to secure those kills, retreating into long, finding some cover, making that a flawless round. But now Epathy has gotten his hands on an operator of his own. They still do have the Hunter's Fury available to them as well, but now it's more of a defaulty play. But look at how open A has been left by Complexity. That's a risk, right? But after what just happened the last round, I can definitely see Complexity's point of view. Probably Timeout don't want to play on A again. And a lot of that positioning, though, from timeout, is focused towards C and B side, but more so Garage and C. There are Astral Stars going down at the base area of Garage. It's going to affect someone like Brock, maybe even AGM. Kurt playing Decepticons versus Autobots. Nothing to really come out of that, though. In fact, Hunter's Fury going to work in reverse. Good for almost one. Oh, no. Instead, just a lot of damage being brought against the team. But instead, the attackers starting to make their way onto Seaside. AGM almost by themselves. There's two in a CT to work with. Jogamo puts down the stars in a risky spot. But no, AGM. Perfect timing. Good for the confirm. It's going to allow a little bit more time for timeout to play around with what they have. Their options are set. Look at the flank coming out from the side of the Cypher. Bude making their way fully in. No one to expect that Ohi to fall. Now the rotate through B has to be good. Two left alive. A lockdown active for AGM all over A site. I don't think we're going to see a repeat of what happened last round. I mean, they definitely heard those players running through sewers. It's a 2v4 situation, so timeout with twice the amount of guns in the hands of players. And they also have that lockdown. Even if they do decide to invest it here, the Hunter's Fury is bound to immediately shut that ultimate down. So it's not, it doesn't seem like the round that they want to go for the retake. However, Complexity is swimming in money from all those rounds that they won in a row. So it doesn't matter too much. Now all left up to AGM though, as Epithy takes out that flank. Flank not active, AGM relegates their lives. A second round for timeout. I mean, on the bright side, timeout have as many rounds as they did at the end of Icebox. And it's definitely not the same scoreline. Yeah, they, on the bright side, they definitely do have as many rounds as they did at the end of Icebox. So they have a lot more time to get themselves a few more rounds. And that was a pretty big round for time out, considering that was their full buy. They didn't really have to invest much into it either. They hadn't had any ultimates come out. Still the Hunter, Fury, and Seeker is available for them. Three ultimates on the side of complexity. It seems like they are a little bit more stingy with these alt points. Yeah, I'm surprised we haven't seen the lockdown come out yet. I don't think we've seen it once this half. Yeah, and eight rounds or nine rounds into the half now, it might be about time. You might not but need it when you're Valen! Yeah, they don't need the ultimate. They can just use their guns. I got the spy. 
Holy moly. And now look at this. Grego does have the Seekers to work with. Just playing very slowly here, Ty. seconds left now. It's a big standstill. No one's making the move just yet. Epithy has a huge line of sight going into B. There is one to the link side though for C. The attempted push up could be huge. Epithy ready to strike. Brock on the other side though, playing a dangerous game, but no off screen. We do see the shots go through. AGM, this is their time to push up and instead caught off guard. Pushing into B now. Timeout, a 4v3, the Seekers active, oh hi, stuck by themselves, Epithy up above has an off angle, but that's a huge guiding light, that might be able to get everybody. But now the last one alive, oh hi has to make magic happen, a 1v4, so many angles to watch, already showing themselves off, the blinded out nearly themselves, Grego finds it instead. A lot of sky self-flashing in this game that we've seen, especially in the clutch situations. Just a little bit of stress going out there. But you mentioned the rock hills at the beginning of this game, coming out from J. Cruel and Ohai. And it seems like the attacking half might actually have been Complexity's preferred side, because Ohai and J. Cruel don't seem to be doing too well on this defensive half. They've been holding on to a lot of ultimates as well. Just not investing them or just dying before they're able to put them into the round. Lockdown, Cosmic Divide, and Blade Storm have been available for at least three rounds thus far. And timeout have just won two rounds in a row. Epithy is so good about holding these really, really strict off angles. Speaking of which, though, Valen did have a lot of like blind last time around. Doesn't quite work this time. Epithy again holding the angle. Good for the entryway. Complexity now going to pretty much most of the round at a 4v5. I mean, Epithy has been starting to make a lot more space with the operator. And instead of complexity being the one that are holding angles, it's time out that's had a really strict control over these angles now and AGM looks like they might be getting a little bit aggressive some sentinel on sentinel violence outside garage would hate to see that happen CT sides blocked off the doggy trying to make its way in guiding light though in response so much utility all thrown together so many trains, but at what cost? Well, the cost of complexity. Two left alive now. Brock holding the back line. Good for one. Tries to confirm the other, but gets traded out. Jake Fool now finds himself last alive. Spike planted. Does have potential of the knives. 1v3 with the op from CT. Very telegraph position to hold. But everybody on timeout, they're holding into C long. Jake Fool doesn't want to let go of that op. Especially after losing those last two rounds, I don't think Complexity has the money that they need to buy back into that 4,700 credit gun. Is it 4,750? I don't buy the operator, so I cannot exactly remember, but it is a large sum. It's a big standstill now. And timeout. They've been able to play around with this attack now. They're starting to really warm themselves up. But complexity, and we've talked about this, I think every single round for the, like the last five rounds, we haven't seen any alts come out. We did see the lockdown. We have seen some seekers, but you could definitely tell timeout love to be a little bit more liberal about how they use it. Yeah, I mean, I think the thing about the lockdown is that they know that the other side has a Sova and the other Sova has an ultimate and they know that as soon as they place down that ultimate, they're just going to get Hunter's Furied out of existence. So maybe it's, it's some funny thing you sometimes see with the Sova Killjoy out on enemy teams where they wait for the other person to use their ult, but the other person is also waiting for you to use your ult, so it just like never ends up coming out. It's... It's uh, mutually assured destruction. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Either none of us use it, or we both use it, and we all die. 
and nothing comes out of it. We both use it, and then they both just are not there anymore. It's just, it's fruitless violence. Truly. But, on the bright side... Tack yeah, I'm not sure which team employed the first one, or whose this is. Might be in complexity side, given that they've lost three rounds in a row. Yeah, and they also are on the the save round this time. They've got a marshal. They really want to contest these long range angles, but J. Cruel doesn't seem to be at the top of his game right now with these operator. They do have the sheriffs, and Brock is trying his best to hold it down. Brock and AGM, I believe they are more at home on this defensive side than the rest of their team. They really excel at taking sites together and clearing these angles, but I think the retakes are a little harder, especially when it is more difficult to find flanks on such a big map. I mean, I don't really blame J. Cruel either, because a lot of the time, right, we see timeout go for these gigantic swings to rotate from one side of the map to the other, and with a sky and Astra's on both sides, that's so many different angles. That's so many different angles you would normally have that you just cannot look at anymore, at least without taking a major risk. I think the sky and I, the sky and Astra are really succeeding in making a lot more space for this team. The flashes and just the gravity well forcing the retreat and stop holding those angles so that they're able to uh, push a little bit further onto the site and gain some more ground. Well, speaking of gaining ground, viewed right on the other side, a sheriff wielding Astra. Taking the swing, taking the risk, but no, it doesn't quite work. It's allowing Grego, though. Push up with the dog. Information to be gained. Good boy. But Seaside still hasn't been found out yet. There's a potential one way with the Nebula to be seen. Brock, though, with the Shock Darts, tries to stop out on main. But that plant being baited out doesn't go fully under. But J.Cool, it's allowing more time for them to push up. And they they duck out. They're not going to go B at all. And look how far AGM has pushed up because of that. They're able to take control of C, so A has to be the way to go. It's really interesting. I think Bude, like, he starts out as a lurker but a lot of the times timeout goes for the rotations to where Bude is lurking so then he becomes kind of an entry fragger of sorts but apathy going down early on this take rego is able to even it out but j cruel with that operator making some more space as well 2v3 still swing either way oh this op is so up close and where did jagamo come from they flanked the whole time now it's gonna leave it down to agm the last one alive so many different angles to look at if you're time out but agm you're just one body the strife shop from kura could be raining so true Graffiti being held. Oh, Good for one headshot. Nearly two. Oh. Oh, this could be huge. And now the flanker Jogmo forced to push onto the site. No idea where the KJ is. Got oh. a triple kill. Don't interrupt my work. The KJ triple kill. I mean, I was a little hesitant because AGM was made, <laughs> taking his sweet time getting over to that site as his teammates were basically fighting the for their lives. But AGM makes it work, isolating those angles. And Jogmo really didn't think that he would swing around the other way. It was just a game of wing, ring around the rosy, and luck and skill comes out for the side of complexity this time. And finally, they have guaranteed themselves one more point in the half, so they won't go into the next half completely tied. Keep in mind, too, this is timeout's map pick. You definitely don't whatever lose your own map pick because it, you know at best you have to play two other maps one of which is your enemy team's map pick problem with that in this instance though is that complexity already won their own map pick so certainly things aren't looking good but timeout they've been able to have a much better stake into this game or into this map Damon's gonna be pushing up here very aggressively waiting for a potential rotate again there is a cypher trap wire right in front of them they can't get past no high end company they're blocking all different ways of getting onto a site, except for A. But the Astra's there instead. C could be the way to go. 
C is left pretty open, but you know, A is pretty much just as open with the exception of Valen on this lurk, but as soon as they check their corners, that could neutralize that threat. He has to deal with this tripwire if he wants to go for the flank though, which is the biggest detriment to being against this Cypher on the defense. Oh, the majority of those Seekers go straight into B side, but one catches out Valen. Empathy pushing into the site ignores all of Killjoy's utility. J. Cruel though, also with the Blade Storm, good for one. More map control to be gained, complexity again, able to retake the site, ah, just as the spike goes down, it's a mow down again! That was a really good round for complexity, they just, it was very explosive the way that they retook this site. I think timeout was scrambling just a little bit to get that spike down when it came down to the timer. But now going into the next half, Complexity do have two rounds up, so they have some space to work with in case they make a few mistakes. But time out, really fighting an uphill battle. They are one map down. This is basically their last chance. This is their last chance to bring it back, considering that they are four rounds down. They have four rounds to tie it up and a lot more, a lot longer to go if they want to be able to bring this to map point. Anything's a possibility now. Sides have swapped. There's no KJ. In theory, the Cypher could be better here. You have a lurking potential. But look at the aggression coming out from C. Long. Epithy and Grego. Trying to find some pop shots through the smoke. A second one no less goes down. Nothing comes of it. There is a little bit of health damage onto Time Out, but it seems that they've just really been allowed to retreat. AGM not wanting to peek out of that smoke at all. But now they've also surrendered a lot of control in mid. Shut down. But Brock does shut that down. That's good. That could be huge. Complexity. Silent. And certainly deadly, Tala. Pushing their way onto A. There's no utility to stop them in any which way. The bait from C is going to be strong. Grego forced to deal with that by themselves. While the rest of Complexity wait for their time to strike. Sneaking their way onto the site. Heaven sites can be blocked off. Oh, hi, checking corners. Setting themselves up. Goes for the plant. Oh, no. And this has to be a huge Spike re-rotate planted. and retake for timeout. I mean, look at the way that Yagovo is trying to aggress this, but Brock is watching that and no he more. would not expect someone to sit so far back, much less the Sova, since, but maybe he has lineups for the site. <laughs> right here. Stop that. Oh, jeez. Dude. By themselves. Why swinging out of graffiti? It's gonna be Jay Cruel for two, the classic master and Kurt. Joins the angels from heaven. Brock again finds another. And Brock has just been such a huge, huge addition to complexity recently. He's definitely been doing incredibly well, especially in this match. That Sova on the flank, it's not it's definitely not what you would expect, but I think that complexity has a pretty good post plant setup as as long as they're able to get that plant down, I mean, moving away from simply the space that can be made by Ohai and J. Cool, they also have nano swarms and shock darts in case someone does go for that defuse. Nothing just yet. Look at the gamble stack on the A, Tala. <laughs> and there's only one person on C. The problem <laughs> is they gambled wrong. And they're not even rotating. They're not budging. I know. They're like, what? we, we know on? you guys fake. <laughs> oh. They're like, oh, we're reading it. You're faking. You're faking us out. This mini map's <laughs> stressing me out. Oh, Grego. Oh. Grego, you're by yourself, buddy. Oh, he's got to get out of there. He's got to preserve his own life. And look where AGM what? is. <laughs> How? From B? No. Yeah, I guess so. From B into Link. And now. <laughs> okay. This this whole round has just dissolved of any any structure at all. And AGM, they're good for one, but look at this, the surprise shot, uh -oh. a double firing squad comes down. This is only the second round of the second half. 
And while things return to normal, there's another attempted lurk. Oh no, this time Jankrul dividing the odds again, catches out the cypher, confirms one, make that two. And the last one, nowhere to be seen. Grego somehow in all of that is able to survive to be the last one alive. Could be good to find one, the headshot dink reigns true. The Valen comes in supreme. That was a really confusing round overall because the fact was they were on the site but they didn't have the spike with them so they had to run back for the spike and then by the time that timeout realized that they were actually going to commit to C they were they were uh, already rotating in and they had rotated in by the time that complexity was actually able to get the spike onto the site but then they had two lurks go out to just neutralize the defenders from their spawn and it was just awkward generally <laughs> Ahead. It's 10 to 4. Oh no. One on A by themselves. A lot of utility defensively put up near garage and B. Lexi, you're taking it slow though. Very slow this time. But that seems to be how they have been getting a feel for Haven. They've been playing really slow, gathering as much info as possible since they don't have the Cypher to gather as much info for them. They do have the Sova though. It just seems that they are very hesitant about committing to any one site before they have scoped out every single one, which is why Timeout is so, uh, so insistent that some of their pushes are fakes. Oh, but going straight uh, uh. into the dog's fight, that's got to hurt. And now Epathy inside a small corner. None the wiser though, Valence still to fall, still hidden away inside Cubby. Really great pinch. That rotate, like you mentioned, Tala, is going to be true. AGM with just a sheriff needs to push on by. Sees a corner of their eye, a little bit of Jogamo, but look at this. The spray into a trade is huge. So many big plays, but B... Might be completely ignored. They're gonna run their way to A. The footsteps are heard, and Butte needs to make the call. Current relegating themselves to heaven's side does have the shock dart to work with, but doesn't connect. That's gonna be full A control, though. Kurt was running. Spike he heard the footsteps, and he realized there was no choice. So after run, and Jake Rule is watching that uh, that flank. Some jet on jet violence in short. Has snuck past Jake Cool how just to be taken down on site though. Yeah, it devolved into a bunch of isolated gunfights. You had one in heaven, you did have two inside of CT, but they peaked individually, and it was just a field day for complexity to find those shots. And I think you're completely right, Tala. These rotates coming out from complexity, they're not as wide swinging as we saw timeout on their own attack, but they're short and they're very quick to the point. They are they are quite the, I think it's just the explosive play style I like to call it. Okay. They spend a lot of time setting up for the perfect take, which is why their takes seem very clean and decisive. They just have a lot of setup that goes into it. A lot of info that needs to be gathered before they know exactly how to play these rounds out. That's a really good point. Complexity, love the button things up going into it. Uh, we did just get a quick update. Mafia does 2-0 YFP Gaming, so they will be moving on forwards into the tournament. That means the winner of this will be facing against the Mafia. So, we might be finding out the winner of that in just a few rounds, perhaps even just a map away. Empathy, though, hiding below in sewers. Judge in hand. Hit they by the shock dart. There. Yeah. At that point, it's such a common free fire spot. The initiator drone is going to seal the deal, force the get away, but the damage has already been done. Oh, hi, collects the first kill. And it's just down to Kurt, holding the entire line of A. Grego forced to go for the rotate. Bue not too far behind. Needs to be sooner than later, though. Oh, Brock finds Kurt. That's huge, but look at this. Bue and company, they're able to make their way onto the site. The mow down potentially, but it's just a guardian to hold the back line. Grego forced the back away. Two left alive, though. Up against match point. 30 seconds left. Spike planted. Pi goes for the plant. Grego again. Isolate 1v1. So the peak from heaven's not going to rain true. Jogamo less alive. Does have utility to work with here. Gravity well doesn't find much. Another utility used on A long. Almost good for one. But again, complexity. Once they hold a site, it's like cement. Match point. It's so hard to aggress complexity once they get set up on these sites. 
because struggling on the defense they were not they weren't even struggling on the defense when they had three sites to defend so when you give them only one yes. site to defend and most of their players still alive then it is hard to see anyone who can break through those defenses even if they are able to get what some of their players low like we saw agm with basically two health hiding in long there there they still way. do have some utility that does not require to to peek at all oh those seekers were denied by the gravity well they still go through and jago has been spotted out but maybe not Balin doesn't matter still takes them out now the run and gun to dash onto site and there's no one to be seen time out they've all been postured their way towards a and b not a single member was there to stop it besides Valen. And now Jake, who has such an aggressive position up on forwards, viewed below half health, a single knife will take them out. Still waiting though for the initiation with the guiding light, the heal comes by, viewed back the normal health. Back and forth, a lot of these go through. Oh. J. Cool, the blink of an eye takes one out, but not two. The shotgun comes in clutch, make them nearly three. But no, they're all melted down one by one. Empathy goes and pulls a J. Cruel instead. Picking up a normal gun, attempts to go for the defuse, hiding behind though, misses the signal shot by a pixel, that's 13-4, a 2 